Welcome back to Boston Lodge. Uh, the biggest um, bit of news as an update on the NLHF uh, project is the completion of the groundworks for the small loco shed that you can see behind me. The foundations have all been cast for the side walls and the wall supports. The pit has been uh, finished. Uh, and the track slabs that you'll see here have all been uh, cast ready for track laying later in the year. A great deal of work is still going into something that will be totally invisible when it's finished. That's the groundworks, creating new duct routes and drainage routes which will be under this yard. So when we run cables for future services for electrics and for data uh, they'll all be underground and they won't be strapped to the corner of buildings like they have been in the past. So huge amount of effort here in the uh, top yard uh, getting ready for finishing the groundworks. Welcome to the site of the den at Boston Lodge. This has now been demolished in readiness for the next stage of the works here. Now, a lot of us are, of course, uh, upset on an emotional level to see the den go. It's been the site of many a happy tea break, lunch break, and of course, uh, the odd party. But um, we are going to get much better, suitable 21st century facilities from it and that includes a return to the building just behind me here where the den was situated in the 60s and the early 70s before this 1970s building um, was built. Also, um, because we've now exposed the site, we've got a chance to do some archaeology. We found a great deal of information here about the buildings and the facilities that were here before the den was built in the 70s. And uh, Bob, our resident archaeologist, is going to tell you a bit more about that. Um, we're on the site of, of the 1980s, de 1970s, sorry, den building at Boston Lodge. Um, the building's now been demolished and the site's been cleared. Um, what we seem to have, well, what we, what we have is largely the remains of the old sawmill. The sawmill was one of the earlier buildings on the site. It was built in the late 1840s on the end of the... Um, the brass foundry, which you can see at the end of the site. Um, I'm standing on the line of the wall of the sawmill, which came down and which survives the, the, the bottom, bottom yard end of it survives as the oil store as was. What we have within the site, I'll go and point out a few things. Um, This is, this is the track which ran right up the length of the sawmill itself. Uh, it's laid in fairly early T-bulb rail, which is about right for the date. Um, and it was surrounded by, we know from photographs, it was surrounded by a, um, a flagstone floor, um, bits of which remain. Within the sawmill, We've got, um, there's a drain running down, the down beneath the floor here. At that end, it's, a, it's built of, of slate rubble. It goes into a, a ceramic drain at this end and then we, we lose it at that end of the site. Um, and within the sawmill, there are bases for one, two and then in the far corner um, a third um, machine. We know that the sawmill obviously had a large table saw in it. I don't know which one of the two big bases the sawmill sat on um, and this is presumably for something related to whatever sat there. The second set of tracks, the higher ones over there, 
um, are a bit of a mystery. They're flat bottom rail, which of course the, the Festiniog didn't use until the restoration era. Um, they seem to be just laid down and not fastened, but we think that they are probably to do with the removal of the rubble staircase that originally stood between the back of the brass foundry and the back of the barracks um, and which fell down in the 1960s um, and was obviously a considerable amount of rubble had to be removed so they seem to they may have put in a temporary track to do that with and that's the remains of it. Um, outside the building Outside the built, well, there's, there's a drain there. This, this, this site is characterised by drains. There's one up there, another one, curving one here, probably as it starts at the wall, um, connected with uh, runoff from the roof. Um, and then along this side of the site, uh, this strange um, cast iron drain. Um, we've opened one end of it just now. Um, it looks as if it was there for, uh, again as a drain but it's very large and very over engineered. Um, I've personally never seen anything like it before so uh, all suggestions in a plain brown envelope. Um, I think that's about it.